Hi guys, my name is Brittany Banter. If you're brand new here, hello. Um, today's video is going to be talking about Stan store. I've been seeing this all over Instagram. A lot of the creators I follow have a store and I actually set mine up yesterday. So I thought while it's fresh in my mind, I would give you guys a rundown on how to set up your store as well. Um, again, if you're brand new, I like to break down software or different links or tabs or um, Chrome extensions and such that you can use to build your business, to have things automated for you, and to make life a lot easier as a small business owner or as a larger creator. So let's hop into today's video. I'm going to be sharing my screen so you can really get an idea of what I'm talking about and see it firsthand. Um, this also is for people who have no idea what Stand Store is. Maybe you're just finding this video and you want to check it out before you purchase. There are two plans, which I was not aware of when I first signed up for stand store and they kind of get you in the door with the lower ticketed um, option and then they kind of suck you into the higher priced option which I did notice so um, my link and my code will be right here on the screen if you want to end up signing up for stand store and use my affiliate link um, I do get a small kickback but I am liking the subscription so far and I have, have felt like it's going to generate a lot of leads and views on my digital products that I sell, which you'll see when I turn this around. So let's turn you guys around and so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so we are logged into my stand store. This is exactly what you're gonna see on the homepage when you um, are logging in. Um, and really quickly, I wanted to mention that when you set up your store, it's gonna ask for like your shop name or your company name. You wanna make sure you put in exactly what you wanted to say at the end of your link. If you look in the top right corner right here, it says stand.store backslash and then my first and last name, which is also my branding name. Um, and then that's what's on the homepage. You can come down here and see data from the last seven days, 14 days, and then the last month. Again, I just launched this yesterday and I'll show you guys my digital products. I do not have any leads yet, but it takes normally about 12 views per product for me to see any lead generation um, or purchasing, so that's fine. Um, if you scroll down, they then have tutorials on how to set your store up, how to optimize, how to connect third parties, which is important. If you guys have any email lead generation, you'll want to connect. Um, if you do not see a third party tool on here, you can use Zapier to connect um, outside of that. And then you have to connect that way instead. Um, for example, I use Auber for my email list and that's not on here. So I would have to use Zapier to have a second connection to get that through. Um, and then they have a bunch of other trainings on here. So if you want to check that out, I did watch one or two of them and I feel like they were pretty helpful. And next is your store. So this has already been set up, but I'm going to show you guys how to add a product. Um, so you can put your name and then you're going to have like an at like you would and it shows your Instagram if you want it to. Um, and then here are my products right here. And these little icons on the right of the name of the product are what kind of um, file they are or system. So these are both digital downloads and this is booking on a calendar like for me to do coaching. Um, and then you can fiddle around with the pricing and I'm going to talk about funnels later in the video. Um, and then all of these items will be displayed on this right hand side. So this is just showing what it will look like on the mobile version. So when people are on your Instagram and they click that stand link in your bio or wherever you put it, maybe in your stories, they will have this screen pop up and then these buttons and um, downloads will be available to them. So let's go in and add a product and just see what that looks like. So. If you are coaching or you're selling a digital product or you're going to have a calendar, if you maybe you do lash extensions, just for example, and you want to book out your calendar, you can use that for this. You can collect emails. Um, a good thing that I'm doing on here is I have a free product, which gets people on my emailing list, which then I can use my Alber to um, capture them and keep them in my systems. 
Um, and then here is uh, digital downloads, which I'm using, and you can use external links. You can do your e-course. You can do uh, the calendar, like I said, custom products. There's all different things. So if you have something you're selling or something you offer to someone that they can pay for, then I feel like a stand store is a good option for you. So let's just go in here and we're going to pretend we're setting up a digital download. So within this, you can decide if you want it to be a button, which is just a smaller version of how it's going to show up on the mobile or a full call out, which um, has a title, a description and a price and an image. So um, you can change the image. You can go in here and type in like my course and then put your the actual name of your course just as an example. And then um, here you can change the title to um, like this file will automatically email to you poor wording, but you get the idea. And then you can change the button too. So you could hit like, if you don't want it to say download now, you could just say that. You could just say download. You could say purchase if you're if you're charging for it, um, etc. So we can then go to next, which is the edit the checkout page. This is what's going to sell them once they've already decided. So probably this page is a little less important than the thumbnail. Like if they're already to the thumbnail and they click through to this checkout page, they're probably pretty warm in terms of if they're going to purchase or not. Um, but we do want this to be presentable. We want it to look like they're confident in purchasing this item. So you would want to change the cover and the title, and then you're going to make this apply to your business. So you want to explain like what this guide or digital download is going to do for them. Um, I have my discount pricing on. So if you're going to be charging $100 for this, but now you have it on sale for $49, you can do that. You can have it where it always looks like it's a better deal than uh, the original price. So if you are always going to charge $50, but you want to make it look like a higher demand uh, product, you can raise this original ticket price. Um, and then you can change the buttons as well. You can also add call to action. Um, like, what do you want them to do? What do you want the button to say for them to check out? Is it purchase? Is it checkout? Whatever. Um, then we can add discounts. We can add codes. So, for example, if you run a sale on your Instagram and you say it when you check out and you add the word um, Instagram, because I want to know where you're coming from, whatever, you can offer a, per, a percentage off. So we'll just offer 10% and then you can do as many codes as you want. Um, then we can limit the quantity. So most people know that digital downloads are not scarce. They know that you made it one time and you can sell it over and over again. But if you really want to make the qu quantity lower, maybe you, maybe on your Instagram you say, I'm only releasing 10 of these because then I want to be able to coach these people afterwards. And this is all I have in my queue right now. You could say something like that. And then you can offer payment plans, which um, I'm not sure if I would personally do that, but it's a good option to have. And then we can add fields. So say you want to add a drop down and you're offering a call or Skype. Um, you could put in here, do you want to have a Zoom call or are we um, having a phone call? So then you already have that information when they purchase your course or your download or whatever. And then here you just simply add your file and that's exactly what is going to be emailed to them when they check out. Um, and I'm not going to publish this because it's a made up item and I'm not actually going to sell this. It's just to show you guys. So then in advanced, we can try and upsell our customers by enabling an order bump up. So for example, right here, it's going to offer my higher end course for less. Um, the other one that I had on my main screen, we can offer affiliates. So if you have people that want to promote your course after they took it and you want to give them a piece of the pie, you can do that. 
You can have customer reviews and videos, which it would be a good thing if you already have people that have taken your course. And then we're going to have a confirmation email. So this is what the document is going to be attached to or the PDF or however you're doing it. Um, so if you want to type in here, like, thank you so much. Like if you want to download my other um, course, here's a one-time code for reselling camp for 20% off. Thank you for downloading this uh, free digital download or download. Um, and then email integrations. This is where they let you directly connect to MailChimp, but I was having trouble with this and I want to use my Auburn account anyway, so I have to go through Zapier like I mentioned before. So once you've done all of that, you can see on this right hand side exactly what your store is going to look like on this slide when they're checking out. Um, and they do have you attached to Stripe and that's how you're paid. Um, so people check out with Stripe and then you can directly connect your bank account so that you're paid out that way, which is a great like secure way to, for them to do it and also for you to get paid. Okay, and here is your income dashboard. So as you can see, I have not made um, anything off of my course yet, which is fine. But then when I do, I can hit cash out and then they have a settings button here. We don't really need to worry about that. And then I can see all the orders down below. So these are people that grabbed my digital download and one of them is me because I wanted to test it and make sure it went through. Okay, and then lastly, our analytics and the apps. So we already did analytics. Here is where you can click to see your audience, um, which I kind of already just showed you. And then you can refer people using Stan, so you'll get an affiliate link that way. You can see appointments that have been booked and you can create a funnel. So this is the only part of the Stan store that I feel like is a bit confusing. Um, a funnel traditionally leads people through an experience. So they would just click, for example, on like my free offer, then it should guide them like a one-time offer for my uh, higher course. And then it might even do another offer at a discount for, for a, like a one-on-one -on -one coaching for me. But that was not the case when I was using this. So I'm still doing research on this and then I can do a separate video just about funnels on Stand Store. I did wanna talk to you guys about pricing though because I feel like it's a little misleading when you get this store and then they're like, actually, if you wanna create a funnel or actually, if you wanna bump a, um, here, I'll show you guys. If you want to bump a sale, like for example, I have this reselling course and then in my advanced settings, I have order bump. And if I want to turn that on, I have to pay the higher subscription. So the lower subscription is $29. The higher subscription, which most people that sell kind of know what a funnel is and it's very useful, is $99 per month. So um, they kind of get you with that because this layout for a stand store is just really nice. So I'm currently on the $29 option because I don't like how the funnel is working and I'm not sure if I'm using it correctly. And the order bump to me is not that important right now because I'm generating warmer leads where they just probably want to click in there and buy it. Um, by the course, they're, I'm not... I'm not generating a lot of colder leads that are downloading my free file right now. So again, when I figure the funnel out, I will share that with you guys. So make sure you subscribe um, and turn on your notifications. And the last thing that I'm going to go over is Ask Stanley. So within the Stan store, you get a free AI tool. And this is to ask any questions that you might have, have um, like with the... Uh, with the stand store, like, how do I do this? How do I attach my email? How do I, um, how do I link this? How do I add a file? Whatever you have, whatever questions you have, this AI can generate an answer for you. So I will give an example. How do I make a funnel? Which I kind of messed with this before because I was trying to figure it out, but we'll just show you guys like that it takes a while. The Stanley is an AI um, technology built into the stand store, and then it's going to pop out an answer for us in just a second. 
thinking. All right, here we go. So then it breaks down the steps and it's going to tell you what to do. So this is kind of just like customer service or like instructional information that you can use the AI for. So that is the breakdown for the most part. Okay. All right. I hope this video was super informative. If you have more questions about Stand Store, you want me to make a different video answering questions about Stand Store. Um, I know this is like a newer thing and it's really big on social media right now. So if you want to check out my link down below, I think I probably had it on the screen a few times throughout the video too. You can go ahead and do that. Um, and thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next software or material based video. Bye.